Hey, hey, my name is Emilio, and in this video, we're gonna look at how to run Nintendo 64 games on your Mac. Please remember to click on that subscription button and on the bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases as well. Let's go through the video right now. So years and years ago, Nintendo released an awesome console, which was the Nintendo 64, which was a huge up from the previous one, which is the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo Entertainment System before that. Nintendo 64 has been out for a long time, and you can still find consoles here and there. You can go and buy them online, but they're pretty expensive. The great thing is if you're somebody like me who grew up playing the Nintendo 64, or maybe you just want to have a look at the games that were released during that time, you can go and actually get the games off the internet and play them on your Mac. Here we are on our Mac. We are logged in. We've got a standard Mac. We're running this on a MacBook Pro. It doesn't really matter what Mac you are running. What we need to do is we need two things to be able to get games running on a Mac. The first being an emulator, and the second is a ROM, which is the actual game, the Nintendo 64 game itself. The emulator is a piece of software that you can download off the internet and essentially just emulates uh, and mimics what a real Nintendo 64 console would function like. So you'll see that right here on my finder. I've already got a couple of things. I've got Nintendo 64, which has a couple of games in here, GoldenEye, brilliant game, and Zelda Ocarina of Time. And then you've got a couple of applications in here. The one that we're gonna be using, which I think works really, really well, is called 60 Force. What you need to do is you need to go into Google. So I'm gonna look for download Nintendo 64 emulator for Mac and press enter. And I've got a whole bunch of options here, okay? You see the very top hit is 60 Force. Now there isn't just one sort of emulator, there's a whole bunch of emulators. Essentially people, developers, people who make the software, create different versions of this emulator. So 60 Force is what I'm gonna be going and downloading. You go to the website, you download it, and this is it right here. I can just go ahead and open it, and here it is. It doesn't really do anything right now. I now need to go and get the games themselves. This is essentially like the console, now I need to go and get the games. So let's go and find a game. And very much the same, back into Google, we're gonna now type in download Mario 64 ROM, for example, okay? And this is what we're looking for, the Mario 64 ROM download. So you'll see that there's multiple hits, multiple websites that have this Mario 64 available for download. Go to the website, download the ROM. So here it is on the desktop, it's just a zip file which I open up. I've then got a Nintendo folder and I've just copied the file right into here. Super Mario 64 Z64, this particular one is a Z64 extension. And you will see that it is 8.4 meg big. Zelda is 33.6 meg. They're pretty tiny, aren't they, for a full game? That's because the graphics weren't that good back in the olden days. In our emulator, 60 Force, we literally just go file, open, and we're gonna to navigate to our Nintendo on our desktop, N64, and then here are all the games. Select the game, Mario 64, and click on open. It's me, Mario. How's that? Look at that. Hello. You can make this bigger, right? You can make it full screen, which is really cool. Now the next question is, how do you play it? So. Under the 60 force area up here, you've got preferences. And now you've got essentially the keyboard configuration. So configure, and here are all the buttons that would ordinarily be on a Nintendo 64 console controller, okay? You've got your little thing right here, which is this area, up, right, down, left. You've got your yellow buttons, your green button, your blue button, your start and even the back button as well. So all of the buttons that you traditionally find on a 64 controller, you can now map them to a particular key on your keyboard. So we're just gonna leave this for now, just to sort of show you how it works, but up and down, I've got obviously my keyboard. Here's my keyboard, up and down. So you can actually go and buy a USB or a Bluetooth controller, uh, and then you can actually map it in here to specific buttons on that controller, and that will feel like a more real life system but that looks all good. So right from here, I can say enter, all right? And I can use my keyboard up and down to move around. I can go and select this one right here. 
All right, there you go, look at that. I'm actually moving. Very easy, huh? And it works really, really well. Brilliant, okay, now you've seen what that looks like. And of course you can save the game when you get your stars, for example, in this game, and it'll actually create a little save file next to your ROM, which is very, very easy. Let's uh, look at GoldenEye, here's a good one. GoldenEye was the best. What a game. What a game. Hmm, let's pick that one. There you go. Zelda, one of the greatest, Ocarina of Time, one of the greatest games of all time. So this also has a very, very long intro. But anyway, there you go. Uh, download the emulator, download the ROMs, load them on your Mac, get a controller if you want a more a legit experience, or you can use your keyboard. Comment below, let me know if this is working for you. Let me know if you've been successful in getting it working on your Mac. Like this video as well if you did like it. Subscribe, clicking on the bell to be kept up to date. It helps me to grow my channel as well. So I really would appreciate you clicking on that subscription button. Thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. We will see you next time.